Namaskar. I'm Dr. Sunita Rana Agarwal and I'm an eye surgeon who has now moved into genetic surgeon. So I'm a gene therapist. And I practice at Dr. Agarwal Hospitals, 15 Eagle Street, Bangalore 25. Glaucoma produces increased pressure in the eyeball. With this, the fluids of the eyeball have increased. Thus, these fluids escape and go into the cornea and into the lens. When they come into the cornea, the first thing that we start recognizing is halos around light. Then we find it difficult to drive at night. And then slowly, slowly, the peripheral vision gets lost. And as that happens, the person will start noticing that he is not seeing that 180 degrees which he should. When I'm looking at the camera, I should actually see both my hands. But when that's not happening and the vision starts reducing, it becomes a tunnel vision. There's just this much island of vision left when we regard that patient as visually challenged. The percentage of glaucoma is approximately 2%. That means of the population, 2% of the population will have glaucoma. However, there is a small problem here. We don't have such good statistics in India and the statistics that I'm giving you of 2% is on the international front. Out of the 2% of people who do have glaucoma, there will be 10% which will go visually challenged within 5 to 10 years of their first diagnosis of glaucoma. Out of that, again, that means out of our population of glaucoma, 5% will be completely blind with no perception of light. These are our statistics and thus it is mandatory today for anybody above the age of 40 to get an eye checkup done, check if you have glass powers, check your retina, more importantly, please check the pressure of your eye and your field of vision. This is the only way that we can find out about glaucoma because usually even those symptoms that I told you will be fleeting. If you want to watch more of our videos, Please subscribe to Dr. Circle.